Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, March 6th, 2021. Uh, week 118. <laughs> Had to use the cheat sheet on the laptop here. Well, a better week overall. Yeah. Yeah, we even got in a live stream this week. A little bit of working out on the treadmill and the bike down yeah. here in the basement. And, um, well, I'd say overall, I'm pretty happy with myself this week. Uh, I stuck to my keto, pretty basic and everything. Mm -hmm. I've been using my keto scan meter, my little keto scan meter. And I was ranging about four to six, which was pre-ketosis and very mild low end of things. And yesterday I was 12 and today I was a 14, which in the keto scan stuff means you're in ketosis. I think it starts at about nine or 10 and then goes up to 40 for the range of being in ketosis. So I'll take the 12 and the 14s. Good job. Yeah. This morning I had a little bit higher sugar. I had a 175 this morning, I'm not sure why. Hmm. But I'll check it at like 2 p.m. before I eat something today. I'm gonna to try and stretch the day out a little bit and I bet you it'll be like in the 125 or something. Probably. Know? Sometimes when I wake up it's higher when I first wake up. Yeah. Not sure why, but I had just taken it when I woke up this morning. But to see that I was in ketosis is a good start. So let's see. Last week I was 337 and I had gone down a little bit, which is starting to feel a little more normal. And this morning I was 334.8. So that was down 2.2. Good job. Yeah. So I'll take the 2.2 pound loss. <laughs> last Very week, happy. Yeah, yeah, I weighed in at 141.6 and this morning I was only 141.4. But mm -hmm. in the better direction, um, my hot flashes have simmered down just a little bit. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, so you're at the point two. Yeah. yeah. How are you doing on your keto? Okay. I haven't really touched base with you. I do Carb Manager, the free version, and I'm pretty on point. Yeah. Uh, the one day I went a little over is because we did tacos, and I used the carb shell taco. <laughs> You know, so I had carb three, mastery. yeah, no. the carb, yeah, car, mission carb, carb, carb shell, but uh, I did three tacos. Now, I don't like to play those carb games of it's 30 grams, but it's only six after you do all this because that kind of gets me nervous. But I did want tacos and I did eat three tacos. Yeah. So I kind of, that day when I looked at the carb manager, I was like, eh, because you see that higher carb. And then, of course, you're taking all those out for the six, I think it ends up being. Right. Third. So it was a kind of a day where I felt like I got a little hit. But yeah. it was darn good. I haven't had tacos <laughs> in a long time. Yeah. long time. It was good, though. They were a little spicy for him, but. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was hot and spicy. Stacy, <laughs> Stacy's uh, little mix, she put a little extra hot and spicy in that one. Oh, well. What can I say? It was good, though. I want to spice things up a bit. <laughs> you sure did. You sure did. Yeah, it was good though. Oh, goodness gracious. That's that's good. But yeah, it's going well. I think I need to, I had some teeth issues. I had a cleaning and they hit a nerve on one of my teeth and it was bugging me for a couple of days. So I don't think, oh, I know I wasn't eating enough. Um, just very soft foods, eggs, pretty much all I ate. So I don't track in Carb Manager. I know I probably should, but I don't. Um, sure. I tend to eat the same things. And like today's lunch is uh, tuna and string cheese. Tuna sounds good. And sharp cheddar cheese. I'll eat some tuna. I made some tuna for you. I like it. <laughs> so what else we got on the sheet? Anything? No. Or is this just our weight numbers? Just our weights, yeah. Okay. So what else is going on? Do I see you this week? <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm off Monday, Tuesday. Um, we got a little bit of run and do I have to follow up for my shoulder. Yeah, we have a little uh, trip that we are planning for. I don't know if it's going to happen or not for Monday. We are going to try and go over by Ikea. I'd like to walk through Ikea. It's been a long time since we've been to Ikea. A couple of years. Yeah. And there's uh, some little, I mean, they're just so good about storage and, you know, all these little fun compartmental things and uh, I want to walk through and get some ideas maybe for our little minivan that we're trying to, to convert into a camper and get some little storage and, and different ideas that might come up as you walk through that store. Yeah. A lot of things always come up in my mind. I they just at, jump in the cart. Yeah, I look at things <laughs> and I'm like, oh, we could use that. We could use that. You know, one thing I like from Ikea that we probably could get another one because it's 
a little worn. Is uh, it's a very thin. It almost looks like a placemat, but it's a cutting board. It's oh, like a cutting mat, and mats, it's it's yeah. it's almost like a fan. You could fan yourself with it. But um, yeah, it's flexible. It's very thin. I mean, yeah. But that little cutting board, because they're like, yeah, let's just try it. Yeah, I use that all the time. <laughs> so I wouldn't mind getting another one of those. Takes less space in the dishwasher too. Oh yeah, and no <laughs> space like in the van if you wanted to bring something right. to cut something up. Or, Use it for anything. Use it for a placemat to eat off of, even if you wanted. Yeah. So. You're pushing me. Sorry. Don't be a bully. To push you. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> now you'll pull me, huh? Yeah, I'll pull you okay. in. Okay. Pull me in. You pulled yeah, me in um, 30 years ago. I think this week we're going to look for a little bit of um, recipes for treats. I wouldn't mind like a little chocolate pudding or something. Maybe a little treat after working so hard and I've been trying to focus on the Fitbit uh, keeping my steps up. Uh, like I talked a few weeks back here about balance and focus, just trying to balance more of my attention to the focus of what we're trying to do here. And it's starting to pay off. I mean, last yeah. two weeks I've been able to drop. So that's good. That's very good. But I'm trying to focus more on those things. I didn't have a perfect week. I had one night of where I slept zero minutes, like I literally didn't even close my eyes. So yeah. for 48 hours, I was a zombie and did a lot of coffee <laughs> to just try and keep awake. And then, because I didn't want to like sleep in the middle of the day and I'm not good at that. And then next thing you know, I'd be all out of whack. So I stayed up to go to bed at like midnight and yeah. then I slept seven hours. So, you know, it's a work in progress. Same thing with the eating windows. I try and eat between like 11 and 7, and there are nights that I fail, and it's 8.30, and I'm starving. So yeah. I'll have a little, um, we have these little salami coins and a little bit of Swiss cheese or something. I'll put a little bit of that on, mm -hmm. a, on a saucer plate so I don't have a full-size plate. Just enough to, you know, I'm not missing a lot of meals. <laughs> but, you know, when you're really, really like, okay, right. I'm starving. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe that starving is a good sign. Maybe my body's starting to, the metabolism is kicking back up because I'm right. trying to be more active and I'm trying to sleep more and I'm trying to move more. So maybe uh, my body's saying, hey, we need a little more fuel to make it happen. There you go. And if the numbers keep coming down, then I'm not going to worry about you know, yeah. too much on it. And my card manager is showing me that I'm on point. So there are days that I think I have an allotment of about 22, 2300. And there are days I'm at like 1,700. And then there are other days that I was like, ooh, I, I ain't 2,400, <laughs> you know? So, you know, I got to kind of watch on that. But my most important is watching the proteins because I go over. I, I tend to go over on protein. And mm -hmm. then is to keep the carbs in check, of course. Absolutely. And I keep mine under 22. Uh, 22 total carbs is what I try. Now, that taco day I screwed up, it was like, 49 or something it was insane <laughs> so but uh it, but the the net carb the carb that you eat i think i was in like the 26 so it wasn't right. so bad at the end of the day but it was not ideal right. like to see 16 or something you know just know that i'm doing good yeah, and there's probably time, sorry. there's probably no it's okay there's probably things i've even forgotten that that got in the mix you know because you know you're human yeah it happens. Go ahead. I was just going to say, um, Bill's been pretty good at getting down here on his recumbent bike. and uh, Almost every day. We've got the treadmill dusted off and hopped on that bad boy. Um, yeah. Thir was it Thursday? We did Thursday, that? yeah. Thursday yeah. night. And uh, felt good to get back on there. Um, we got to find a, a Netflix series or yeah. something. Anybody in the comments, leave us a little thing. We've got to find something to start watching and get um, back in that motivated groove of hey you want to watch the next episode of let's go downstairs and turn the tv on and get Walk everything and going <laughs> yeah so right in front of us is the bike and the treadmill that we were on the other day so if we turned the camera around that's what you would see mm -hmm. and on this side of the room is a little desk and just blank wall oh. just kind of basic and chill <laughs> sorry i was going to put something on the wall i don't know maybe a big flag or something yeah, we'll find something. You know those old rustic wood and they kind of like burn the wood and then they make the flag and they paint it on there and it's like worn looking. I, yeah. like, the, I like those. Maybe I'll get one of those. We can look and see what they have at Ikea. Oh, that's right. We're going to Ikea. So you might see something up there by next week. 
Yeah. There was a couple of weeks, too, where I was having a lot of hip problems, so I wasn't even going up and down the stairs so much. Yeah. So we just sat on the couch and did our updates. But uh, I've been doing pretty good. I've been keeping moving, trying to keep keep the body moving. Yes. And then I get down here for the pedaling. Even though there's not a lot of um, physical of, of that, like it's probably better for me to try and walk. But with the weight being off and just being able to move and pedal, I think that helps my head too. Yeah. And I've been taking that concentrated cherry juice. I've tried osteobiflex and different mm-hmm. glucosamines and all these different things for joint and hip pains because I'm feeling old. And uh, I'll tell you what, this concentrated cherry, it's, it's in a capsule. It's just, mm-hmm. It was something that was recommended for joints. And I thought, you know what, let's just try it on Amazon. And I did. And i got to say, I feel a little bit better with it. I don't know if it's just a coincidental thing because I am moving more or if the cherry concentrate is helping. But you know what? When the bottle is gone, I'll give it two weeks and pay attention. And if I'm starting to feel a little bit stiff and yucky again, I'll go, right, I'll go right back to it. Yeah. Absolutely. This was the week of running out of everything. <laughs> I mean, it just seemed like everything that I use or need, vitamins like my cinnamon, and my apple cider vinegar, uh, hot tub supplies, because we we have a hot tub in the garage. Uh, I ran out of two of the chemicals for it. It just seems like everything I'm running out of this week. <laughs> so I had to move money over to our bank account to cover money that I was spending on Amazon because I don't want like that bill to go up. Right. I want that to stay maintained. So I had to move things over just to catch up on the things that I'm forgetting. There was something else I forgot too that, that we ran out of. But but yeah. something we don't use on a regular basis. So it's right. kind of like, ah, six months ago I bought that chemical right. for the hot tub, but we need it again because it's, it's uh, chlorine. Huh? Yeah, that's important. Got to keep the water in balance, <laughs> right? Absolutely. But I guess that just happens. It does. And then coming up soon will be car and... Maintenance in the garage for the snowblower and the lawnmower because we're almost to that season of finishing snowblower <sighs> and getting the lawnmower ready. Uh, and then I got the big mower that I got to do all the maintenance on. Yep. And the generator I got to do all the maintenance on. I don't mind doing it. I'd rather do it myself and save a whole lot of money. I think they yeah. charge like two, three hundred bucks to do the lawnmower. Yeah. And I'll do that for like under 40, you know. So, you know, just got to do what you got to do. Absolutely. Save some money. Clip some coupons. That's Saving me. money is always good. Yeah. Well, I've been talking. What do you What do you got to say? Not a whole lot. Chit chat. I don't know why. Come on, just... <laughs> chit chat. Chit chat. This is our chit chat. We don't ever. We never talk about what we're going to talk about. No, we don't. <laughs> yeah. So I'm excited because we're going to build a van base, uh, a bed base for our van, and we're still trying to. We've watched probably the 20, 30 videos on other people building bed vans, and. Um, and you get some good ideas, and, and then you see some, and you're like, wow, that's not going to work. Um, yeah. I don't know if ours is going to work, and I, I figure there's always a version two. There's always a version three, right? Because it might not work, but we're going to try. Yeah. We'll go over to Home Depot, get some wood cut, go to Ikea, get some ideas. Mm-hmm. We even thought about using some Ikea legs, because on their little tables and stuff, they have those screw-in legs with the nice base. Like, maybe we could use those. Yeah. They'd be cheaper, too. They'll store it easier, too. They'll store it easier. I'll chop them down for the appropriate heights. Right. You know, get the saw out and chop them. There we go. Yeah, gonna give it a try. Yeah. So I think what we'll do is we'll videotape the process of us doing all that and throw something up on the SMB channel, SMB Adventures, yeah. and throw it up to show the attempt of a, of a bed <laughs> platform. And uh, if it doesn't work out, then we'll... Try it again, and then we'll film that and say, this is our bed. Because right. it might not even work. You know what? We, we built finished basement. our basement. Yeah. So, so we can finish our basement. I we think can we can build, build a, a bed, bed for the platform. Band. Yeah, Absolutely. a bed platform. But we've got to make it work smart, too, though, because you have right. very limited space. You want to be able to fold some things and, and adjust things so that you could maintain maximum floor space and storage because mm-hmm. some people store under the beds yeah i have to be careful because my torso is long so I, the bed base can't be super high some of them we saw it's like how do you lay in that bed because i couldn't even turn over between my shoulders and my body height right and then to sit up in bed i'd be whacking my head 
So I've got to keep it somewhat low. Yeah. But the good thing is, kind of a minimalist. I don't like taking anything that I don't need. I do want the essentials. Right. But I don't need to bring the whole closet with me. You know, there you watch people and they, they pull things like, they literally are taking TVs and VCRs and all this stuff in their van or in their camp. It's like, no, I don't need all yeah, that. Yeah, but some people live in Laptop. Their van. Laptop works. Yeah, it would. Maybe Absolutely. even a projector. Who knows? I got a couple of those little ones. So we'll see. We'll play with it. It'll be fun. Yeah. It should be interesting. Comical. No. <laughs> <laughs> should be fun, though. It will be. All right. Well, I guess that's it for this week, huh? It is. We're going to try and get in uh, something during the week. I'll do my best. I'm going to hunt a little, like I said, for a recipe or two. I don't know. I just kind of want something that's a little bit of a treat, but not a guilty treat for keto. Right. So maybe I'll, I'll hunt up. Maybe if you've got a good recipe for uh, a little sweet treat or a little treat that uh, we could reward ourselves with at, you know, 8 o'clock at night and just say, ah, enjoy Put it in the comments or a link or, you know, yes. the words or a video link and uh, we'll check it out because I would like to have some. I haven't been jumping on the scale much because I just, I think that can freak me out. It does. Sometimes. Then I get all psyched out by Wednesday and go, ah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> then, then by Saturday I get on there like today and I'm like, oh, well, that wasn't such bad. <laughs> I was a little, uh, you know, nervous because I had just gone through that not sleeping for two days. Right. So... Yeah. <laughs> I gotta like figure something out like some meditation or something I gotta get the mind body spirit working together very much so the spirit's there the mind is where I fall short he doesn't know how to shut his mind off no I can't I have like ADHD of the brain it just never stops it doesn't and then I say okay stop Time to go to bed. And I lay down and I think, hmm, I got to change the water filter in the morning. <laughs> I better check the air filter. It's probably been a while since I did it. And you know what's funny is I'm like one of those maintenance persons that puts dates on things too. So like when I change the air filter, I put, I changed this February 1st, 2021. So I mean, it's not like I'm not on top of it. You know, right. when I check it, I even have a whiteboard in my well room that I keep track of. When I change the water filter, when I change the air filter, when I change the humidifier filter, when I've added salt last, when I've done the brine treatment for the salt and the, and the bleach treatment through the lines. I, I mean, I keep pretty good records of things. I'm a dork. Stacy's looking at me like, can we just wrap this up? No, he's not a dork. But yeah, I didn't have to get, get going. going. I can go to work. All right, guys. Well, hey, leave us some comments below on some uh, recipes, some maybe some sweet treat ideas. Because mm -hmm. I'm kind of wanting something like a little chocolate pudding or something. I know oh, there's a couple good. keto recipes out there for simple, you know, heavy whipping cream yeah. type of things. So uh, maybe we'll be able to figure something out. I'll make it. And we'll make it. We'll try. Maybe we'll even video it. Maybe. That would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that they'll make it instead of Thursday being on a bike and a treadmill maybe we'll make some pudding or something or yeah. whatever day oh maybe Monday or Tuesday because you're off yeah are you working you say you're off I'm off completely. does that mean you're off both jobs I, it is so it's not like I'm off but I'm working nine hours at this other job no okay to get my shift awake so I go to the doctor I'll take it what doctor are you going to my shoulder shoulder just checking up mm -hmm. how's that feeling I have the cortisone, so it feels overall pretty Super good. Superwoman. Still, uh, still like, some, got some awesome. soreness in there. You know, it's coming right on up the up the neck. Aww. <laughs> I'm being nice. I, I know. Being <laughs> nice. So I had to go back and check in with him. And Just don't uh, overdo it and hurt yourself oh. because now that you've got the cortisone in there, although everything is healed though, right? Yeah. From x-rays and everything? Yeah. Oh. No broken, no fractures, no nothing, but it's something still. It's up called up. getting old. <laughs> Welcome to your 50th year. It I've already better. got a rude awakening to the 50th year. Oh, yeah, you're little. Let's <laughs> <laughs> start calling you hot. You're my little hottie. I should be your hottie anyway. <laughs> you're my hottie. That's your new nickname. No. No? No. What would you say your nickname is now? Beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, beautiful. How you doing? <laughs> I text her all the time. Hey, beautiful. 
He does. How you doing? I just like to bother her. Because I know she's working and can't read texts. So I'll be like, where are you? How come you're not responding? Meow. Meow. <laughs> meow. A lot of meows. There are a lot of meow texts. Meow. Rawr. I know she can't read them. And if, if you end up going to the bathroom or taking a break, that's when you see them all. And there and are some like texts. 11 of them in He'll a row. do some things. He's been doing those little animated. Um, <laughs> the emojis yeah, or the something? Emojis. Oh, okay. Oh, she's talking about where you take your face and you, you become the line and you say, I love you. <laughs> yeah. So that makes her laugh. He's gotten a couple of them where I look like an idiot because they start busting out laughing in the, in the break room. room and uh, <laughs> they're like, what? I'm like, I, I can't repeat it. Can't, <laughs> can't show can't you. Talk about it. Can't talk on that one. We'll circle back. <laughs> circle back. Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to head out. And you guys have a great week. I hope that your keto journey is going strong and well. Um, I think for us it was uh, just getting back into this, getting back onto the basics, you know, getting down here, moving more, getting more steps in. Cannot wait for spring. When we get a 40, 50, 60 degree day, I get so inspired to get out there and work on the van mm -hmm. and to do things and to go bike riding like we talked about the other day. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm real excited to go start doing some of that stuff again. Yeah, it's going to be fun. So let's get rid of these 330s for me and the 140s for you. Yes. And uh, continue our journey of losing. Loser. Loser. The loser. loser. Yeah. We're such dorks. All right. Hey, we'll talk to you all soon. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was pretty good. Loser. Loser.